Now let's create a command for when the jetpack is touched. I clicked on events. Now the wind touches block is dragged on to the workspace. Now click the first arrow and select the boy. Click the second arrow and select the jetpack. As soon as this boy touches the jetpack, the size of the jetpack needs to increase. Now the size of the jetpack is 15. We can change the size of each sprite using the set size 2 block. Now I want to make the size of the jetpack to 100. For that I click on sprites. Now drag the set size to 10 block below the when touches block. Next as soon as the boy sprite touches the jetpack the size of the jetpack needs to be 100. So let's type 100 here. Now click the run button and use the arrow keys to take this boy to the jetpack. Next see if the jetpacks get bigger as soon as the boy touches the jetpack. Now one part of the job is done. Now click the reset button. We will now create something that shows the boy with the jetpack on his back. For that, we have to take this boy exactly where the jetpack is. That means the location of the jetpack and the location of our boy needs to be the same. Now, as soon as the kid touches the jetpack, it needs to get bigger and the child needs to jump exactly where the location of the jetpack is. How do we create this block? First, click on Sprites. Now, the block called Jump2 is dragged and placed below the Set Size 2 block. Now, the child jumps, so the boy is selected by clicking this little arrow. Now, this block results in a jump to a random location. Random location means that this kid might go anywhere in the background as soon as he touches the jetpack. We need to get the child to jump to the very location where the jetpack is. So, I delete the random location block. Now, click on locations. Now, let's place the block called location off in front of the block called jump to where the random location of the block was before. What do we do with the block called location off is to specify a location. Now here we can use something as my sprite in the red box. But this kid needs to jump to where the jetpack is. Therefore, I will delete the block called my sprite. Now click on the sprites again and drag this red sprite block to the place where my sprite block was before. Now look, this can be used for setting the child's landing location. That is the location of the jetpack. So I clicked the small arrow and selected the jetpack. Now click the run button and use the arrow keys to take the child to the jetpack. Now look, the moment the kid touches the jetpack, the jetpacks get bigger and this kid jumps exactly where the jetpack is.